Today, let's talk about buses. Not that little short bus that you used to ride to school when you were a kid. No, not that one. I'm talking about audio buses in Logic Pro. Now, here's something that I get asked a lot. Why do you use buses? When do you use buses? What are buses for? Why do you create buses in Logic? What's your routing, Brad? So I'm gonna get into it for all you short bus riding mouth droolers out there. Shade thrown, I'm just playing, guys. Just don't take it so seriously, all right? Mix series, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, here's three ways that I use buses. Number one, and the first thing, first reason to use a bus in Logic Pro, in Pro Tools, in whatever DAW, is so that you can organize your stuff. So in this session, I have Vox Mix Bus. I have an instrument mix bus. I got bridge vocals. I got a bass mix bus. I got a drum slash effects bus. Now, if I want to just hear the drums, I can solo that out. What if I want to hear everything without the drums and see what's getting congested? Should I go through and mute every single thing on the drums or maybe I just route them all to a bus? That's a very, very simple and common reason why we make buses in any DAW is to keep your organization in the session. This also feeds into the fact that when you need an instrumental mix, you can just mute the vocal mix bus and then you can make a bounce, and now you have an instrumental mix. Same thing with show mixes, acapellas. Solo out the vocal mix bus, make a bounce. So that's a really fast, easy, efficient way in your session to make things happen, stay organized. Okay, that's number one. Now, I'm gonna get to number two, but the first thing I gotta ask you is, have you listened to the After All, this song? I dropped this last year. You should definitely check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description. You guys can check out the mix. You can give me feedback on whatever, but tap in. It's a dope track. I spent a lot of time on it, and I actually recorded it, produced it, mixed and mastered it all in Logic Pro. Okay, and number two, the number two reason why you use buses is so that you can affect everything in in one way. So instead of having to affect everything as in the vocals, the drums, the, the keyboards, the guitars on the stereo bus, I can now affect only the vocals on a vocal bus. So for example, on here, I have my vocal mix bus and my vocal mix bus has EQ, compression, and, C and Sooth 2 on it. Okay, so now I have the ability to take all of my vocals, doubles, layers, stacks, harmonies, all these things, ad-libs that go into the vocals and make them sound more like one cohesive piece. So for example, let's go to a part where there's a lot of vocals, like right here, and we'll play this, and you can hear with and without the processing on the vocal mix bus. Okay, here we go. Hey, won't give it, we won't let it fall. Now, if we want to hear that even more, we just solo the vocal mix bus and we can listen to these vocals with and without this processing together and start to think about how they come together with all the processing as all of this information and multiple stacks of vocals go down to a two track of a mix bus. Listen for the before and after. Listen to how before when there's no processing, which I'll bypass all the processing, you're going to hear sort of the, the vocals are kind of detached. They're not up front. They don't they don't glue together, right? Um, they sound good, but let's just listen. Hey, won't give in. We won't let it fall. We could win this after all. Go all in. Yeah, we're betting it all. Hey, won't give in. We won't let it fall. We could win this after. So this allows me to also bring up low level information when I start to compress on the actual vocal mix bus or drum mix bus. You're taking the low level stuff like the background vocals, the harmonies, the stacks, the reverbs, all the things that are going on with the vocals and you're bringing them up 
so that you can hear them better and they go up front, you know, you can bring the vocal up front before it hits the master bus. I think of this as kind of like subgroups, sub mixing. Uh, you want to have all of your stems of all your vocals, all your drums, all your everything, right? They're all split up. And then you start to take those individual stems and you bounce them into two, right? So you got all these vocals and those go to two and then those go to the master bus. Okay. And then you got all your drums and then those go to two. So now you're dealing with just drums, uh, synths, vocals, and now you're only dealing with like maybe six to eight faders before, which is kind of like a sub mix, right? Now you can mix that mix into the master bus. So the more sub mixes, the, the louder you can get your mix as well when you're using buses and you're processing on your buses. Okay. So that's number two. Now, if you're liking this and you're getting good information out of this, like the video, share the video. It means a lot. Honestly, guys, Really, really appreciate all of you that drop comments, that like the video, share the video with people that are subscribed to the channel. It means a lot to me. You guys got to understand, like, do this stuff for free. I'm trying to give you guys game, build the channel, and connect with more like-minded people. So make sure you like and subscribe. All right, now let's get into the third reason why you use buses. And the third reason is pretty obvious and probably the most, the most common use of a bus which is going to be for a wet send to a reverb or an effect or parallel compression. So basically you have, let's say all your drum stems and all your drums are going to a drum mix bus, which ends up being just a stereo fader, right? Now you want to take that stereo fader or maybe those individual elements and you want to send them to a copy, right? And that copy is the bus. That's another bus. That's your reverb send. That's your parallel drum bus, etc. Now you have all drums, this drum mix bus, and then you can have an all drums bus up here, right? This is really hard to explain, but I'm going to show you on the computer. Okay. So all my drums here, for example, are going to go, you have this kick, you have snare, all this stuff. I'm going to hit X. I'm going to go to my mixer so you can really see these laid out. Come. Okay. So now I got my, my snare, my, my kick, all my drums are all going to bus 12, okay? Now bus 12 is right here. It's the the drum mix, okay? So drums and effects bus. So bus 12 comes here. It's getting a little bit of EQ. Looks like a little bump, getting rid of some of the garbage at the bottom. Uh, Pro C, so this is a little compression, which is gluing all those drums together, right? And then we got a Sooth 2, which is looks like it's kind of ducking out a little bit of the vocal range, okay? So that's awesome. And then that goes to the stereo out, which goes to my master bus. But there's also drum parallel bus, right? So I have, for example, this kick, it's sending to bus one. If I click on bus one, it's a parallel bus that then goes to the stereo bus as well. So now I have my drum mix, all these drums going to a drum mix bus, but I also have a kick going to a parallel, which is a copy signal, and it's 100% wet with compression. It's com being compressed really hard with this Wolf compressor and then a little bit EQ shaping. And then that is being blended into send to the master bus. This is a, a very, very common way of using buses. We do this with reverb. Anytime you want to think about buses as a way you can duplicate the signal and send another, you know, you can send a copy of that signal directly to a different bus and you can affect that copy really heavily or you can drench it in reverb and then you can blend it in to the mix. That's a very powerful way of using buses and it's the third way and probably the most common way that people use buses, which is send effects, parallel compression, or really any parallel effect, okay? Anything you want to make a copy of. So that's really, that's the three things that I can think of for buses and why we make buses or use buses. Organization, making sure everything's routed, all drums somewhere, all vocals somewhere, um, all synths, guitars somewhere, etc. Second thing, of course, uh, like I said, was to be able to affect everything together and compress and bring low level information up and just sort of make a sub mix so that you get lower. You're not organizing everything like a hundred and whatever stems. Now you're just organizing six to eight faders of bus subgroups that then feed a master bus. And then the third thing is the number three is to give yourself a parallel send of effects or any copy that you want to affect so that you can affect it and blend it into the mix. If you guys like this, hopefully you learned a lot from it. Maybe this was kind of basic for you and you're like, dude, I didn't, I didn't ride that short bus. I rode the normal bus 
or my parents were rich, so they they let me use their car. Okay, you guys, I appreciate you coming through. Mixed series, that's it. I'm gonna do a lot more of these, so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with other people that need this information, and uh, go stream my song and do all these things. Like, I got all these things for you to do, but hey, I'm giving you free game. Go, go make a little couple clicks, you know? <laughs> Peace.